Head and Associate Professor of Physics at Tandai Thuriyar Government Arts and Science College, Trichrapalli. Today, we are going to see about the second harmonic generation. The second harmonic generation is one of the applications of nonlinear optics. Nonlinear optics, what is nonlinear optics? Before going to see about the nonlinear optics, we should know the term of linear optics. What is linear optics? Linear means anything that change direct proportion to the known values. For example, we take the Hooke's law. Hooke's law, you know the Hooke's law. Hooke's law is nothing but stress is directly proportional to strain. We are taking a rod, a metal rod. Now we are applying a force on one, of, one end of the rod. When applying force, the rod bends. Further we load, again, further we extend the load, we apply load, actually further it need or one of the Yarakata 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 Kuru. Load apply Kuru, Orientala, Yarakata Kuru. Oriental Amanda, the rod of the Oriental fixed Panita, no rental and Amanda load apply Kuru, load apply Kuru, uh, that rod downs. This proportionality, the strain made is directly proportional to stress given by the uh, applied load. Now, we have applied the load in the bar and the bend, 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 and the bend. Then, the strain on the, in the specific near in the bend is the proportional of the bend. Then, we have to apply the voltage on the bend. Ohms lah itu kan? Indah ohms lah ni, nama voltage je. Enam voltage je apa yang perlu? Electric field ni, enam nama perlu kerana, anda electric field itu tak ada mali. Current tu, untuk proportion itu, ini sangat penting. V is directly proportional to I. Kalau saya ni betul betul pernah. Ini tu, anda the current linearly increases with the voltage. Angka stress strain linearly increases with the stress. Apa yang cuma? Ini tu dah linearity. Ini tu linear. Ini tu term. In the time we have applied the optics, we have explained the optics and we have explained the linearity and the linearity is the linearity. We will see the linearity. This linearity, the light is nothing but the electromagnetic beam. Light is one of the electromagnetic beam. Visible spectrum is white light, one of the electromagnetic beam. Electromagnetic beam is nothing but as science are in this, they are continuously, they are continuously, they are continuously, they are continuously, they are the electric field which is embedded in the electromagnetic field. The electric field, the particular frequency of light have a harmonic wave, particular frequency. Uh, for example, uh, if it is UV radiation, UV radiation, the wavelength of UV radiation falls between 200 to 400 nanometer. Uh, in this wavelength region, the UV light continuously released. Likewise, every wave in visible spectrum has its own wavelength, wave number. Uh, in this wave number, they oscillate. For this oscillation, there is electric field. Electric field is the backbone for this oscillation. Electric field is the decision. The oscillations in the sinusoidal waves are harmonic or unharmonic. The electric field is the decision. Then, the linear or non-linear object is the decision. The electric field is the electric field. The electric field is the contact. This electric field intensity for linear optical material. Linear optical material is the same. Any optical materials, any materials, we call linear optical materials, or all the materials exist in the uh, world. All the materials exist in the world are called linear materials. Uh, these linear materials, when light propagates in these linear materials, the light, there is optical phenomena. What are the optical phenomena that can be happened while propagating through the medium? First is transmission, second absorption, third polarization, diffraction, and so on. And the optical phenomena all the In the optical phenomena, during the propagation, light can be transmitted 
through this medium, light can be transmitted through this medium, absorbed by the medium. Suppose a light of an electric field 10 power 3 volts per centimeter volts per meter is propagating through the glass. When the light propagates through the glass, it transmits, it propagates, it transmits uh, the transmitted beam contain the same frequency as that of incident frequency. We are passing the light, the wavelength of light is unchanged. Here, the wavelength of light is unchanged in linear optical medium. Suppose if it is non-linear medium, actually all the optical medias, all the optical materials are dielectric materials because they, they do not have any valence electrons. They do not have any valence electron. They are having charged particles. They are having charged particles. But these charged particles, you know, there are in materials we have conduction band and the valence band. There is a gap between conduction band and valence band. In dielectric materials, the band between the conduction band and the valence band, the distance between conduction band and valence band is very large. So electrons cannot jump to the excited state or conduction band. Therefore, in dielectric materials, there is absence of conducting electrons. So, when we pass the light through this medium, the electric field in the light interact with the medium. These interactions do not help to jump the electrons from valence band to conduction band. Conduction band to the electron to the power of the ordinary light source is help on the medium. What is the reason behind this? The reason behind this is the interatomic field strength is very very large when compared to the field strength of the light. The field strength of the light is 10 to 3 volts per centimeter for ordinary light sources. That is the white light and the sodium upper lamp. For ordinary light sources, the field strength of the ordinary light sources is 10 to 3 volts per centimeter. But the interatomic field strength of the interatomic field strength of the medium is 10 power 7 volts per meter. For this to interact with or to strike the atom, to strike the atom or to excite the atom, this field strength is not enough. So after the invention of laser, you know the laser is nothing but the coherent light sources. After the invention of lasers, it is possible to interact with the atoms. The field strength of the lasers falls in the region of 10 power 7 to 10 power 11 moles per meter. So, this field strength is enough to interact with the field strength of the inter atoms. Since the interatomic field strength of the atoms lies or in similar, similar intensity, with the field strength of the lasers. These lasers are able to interact with the medium. Hence, the new frequencies arise. When ordinary light sources is passed through the medium, simply light, the incident light is emerged out. But when we use, when we start to use the laser light, the incident light, actually the incident light also emerges in addition to the incident light, we get additional terms, additional harmonics, additional terms means harmonics, additional harmonics. The incident light sources is nothing but a fundamental harmonics or first harmonics. The incident light sources is fundamental harmonics. We get the fundamental harmonics and, uh, and also the second order, third order and the fourth order etc. Fifth order etc. So, it is possible to generate more harmonics through laser light. After the invention of laser light, it is possible to generate additional harmonic beams. You can find, now you can realize that due to the invention of lasers, it is possible to generate nonlinear objects of a frequency 
asset of incident frequency is called linear linear optics idu varala ulla and region la adavadu incident light ettavo incident light oda frequency ettavo and frequency e nama output a kadachichina adu linear incident light illama incident light um light illama adhigamana wavelength ulla innum pala light sources nam kadachichina adu non linear optics now you know the difference between linear and non linear optics the non linear optics as i told in the introduction the non linear optics is second harmonic generation is one of the applications of non linear optics besides the second harmonic generation there is some frequency generation and different frequency generation and raman raleigh beams can also be generated using this formula a uh, different frequency generation that means the difference between the incident wave we can do all the optical phenomena using laser also what are the optical phenomena that has been carried out in the linear optics can also be carried out in the non linear optics also in this figure a you can see the linear optics that is when particular intensity uh, or particular electric field intensity the polarization differs the polarization is a differs what is polarization polarization in optics polarization is nothing but separation of waves here light is actually here we use laser light here actually a charge is separate because they are a non linear medium optical medium in optical media they are dielectric materials this dielectric materials separates the charges when it is applied at electric field the charges positive and negative charges deflect towards the polarity so uh, here the charge separation is nothing but polarization here we get the second order polarization third order polarization etc a theoretical background for this polarization polarization p can be in generally represented by p is equal to epsilon not chi e where epsilon not is the linear permittivity permittivity of free space and chi is the dielectric susceptibility and e is the electric field intensity this is for now a linear medium when we use a laser light as i told earlier the additional terms arise when we use a laser light the additional terms such as second harmonics or third harmonics etc for that we modify the equation epsilon not chi e we use the higher powers of chi and e chi and e chi 1 e plus chi 2 e square plus chi 3 e cube plus chi 4 e power 4 etc we substitute this equation in the normal polarization equation b is equal to chi epsilon not e you know the wave equation for linear harmonics e is equal to e not sin omega t substituting for e e is equal to e not sin omega t we get epsilon not chi 1 sin omega t plus epsilon not chi 2 e not square sin square omega t plus epsilon not chi 3 e not cube sin cube omega t we use the trigonometrical term sin omega t and we substitute the trigonometrical term to this equations we get or the equation simplifies into p is equal to epsilon not chi 1 e not sin omega t minus 1 by 2 epsilon not chi 2 e not cos 2 omega t plus 1 by 2 epsilon not chi 2 e not and etc actually we have for simplification for our clarity we have given only three terms here only the first term starts up for it is for this term and it is a permanent one or we can call this this term as noise and the second term is same as set of the linear optics so we call this term as first harmonics or fundamental harmonics and the third term is when you look at the third term you can see that there is a cos 2 omega t there is sin omega t here 2 omega t this term actually represents or stands for second harmonics just as double as the first harmonics 
ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஹார்மானிக்ஸில் எப்படி இருந்ததோ அதே மாதிரி டபுள் தட்டம் இங்கே கிடைக்குது அப்போ அங்கே ஒமேகானா இங்கே டூ ஒமேகாவா நம்ம கிட்ட கிடையாது கிடைக்குது ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி அங்கே ஹண்ட்ரட் அப்படின்னா இங்கே டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அப்போ ட்வைஸ் த இன்சிடென்ட் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி நமக்கு அவுட்புட்டாக கிடைக்குது அதனால் இது வந்து செகண்ட் ஹார்மானிக்ஸ் அப்படின்னு நம்ம சொல்லுவோம் இவர் நம்ம நான்வீனியர் கோலர்சேஷனோட நான்வீனியர் கோலர்சேஷன் எப்படி உருவாகுது லீடியர் கோலர்சேஷன்னா என்ன நான்வீனியர் கோலர்சேஷன்னா என்ன லீடியர் ஆப்டிக்ஸ்னா என்ன நான்வீனியர் ஆப்டிக்ஸ்னா என்ன லீடியர் மீடியம்னா என்ன நான்வீனியர் மீடியம்னா என்ன லீடியர் மீடியம்னா மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் தே அலோ த இன்சிடென்ட் ரேடியேஷன் தே அப்சர்வ் த இன்சிடென்ட் ரேடியேஷன் தே ஜஸ்ட் டைப்ரெண்ட் தே ஜஸ்ட் கோலரைஸ் தே ஆர் லீடியர் பட் நான்வீடியர் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் நான்வீடியர் மீடியம் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் விச் கோலரைசஸ் த இன்சிடென்ட் ரேடியேஷன் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ இட் ஜென்ரேட்ஸ் அடிஷ்னல் கோலரைசேஷன் அடிஷ்னல் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சிஸ் ஆஃப் லைட் ஆர் கால்டு நான் லீடியர் மீடியம் நான் லீடியர் மீடியங்கிறது லீடியர் மீடியம் செய்கிறது எல்லாத்தையுமே செய்யும் லீடியர் மீடியம் என்னென்னலாம் செய்தோம் என்னென்ன ஆப்டிக்கல் எஃபெக்ட்லாம் கொடுக்குதோ அது எல்லாமே தரும் அது இல்லாமல் இன் அடிஷன் டு த லீடியர் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் இட் கிவ்ஸ் நியூ ஃப்ரீக்வன்சிஸ் புது விதமான ஃப்ரீக்வன்சிஸை உருவாக்குது புது விதமான லைட் சோர்சஸை உருவாக்க முடியும் வெறும் மெட்டீரியல்ஸை வச்சுக்கிட்டு நம்ம புதுசாக லைட் சோர்சஸ் எதுவுமே புதுசாக ஒரு லேசர் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி நம்மளால் உருவாக்க முடியாது ஆனால் பை யூசிங் திஸ் நான் லீடியர் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் வி கேன் ஜென்ரேட் நியூ லேசர் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சிஸ் நியூ லேசர் லைட் புது விதமான லேசர் லைட்டை நம்மளால் உருவாக்க முடியும் அதுக்கு இந்த நான் லீடியர் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் அப்படின்ற ஏரியா பயன்படுது இந்த நான் லீடியர் மீடியமும் இந்த புது ஃப்ரீக்வன்சிஸை உருவாக்குறதுக்கு இந்த நான் லீடியர் மீடியமும் பயன்படுது தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் இதில் ஏதாவது உங்களுக்கு மேற்கொண்டு பேசணும்னு ஒரு பண்ணிங்கன்னா என்னை பண்ணலாம் தொடர்பு கொடுக்கலாம் பை என்ன எதிர் மீடியம் யூ கேன் காண்டாக்ட் பண்ணி நெக்ஸ்ட் கிளாஸில் அடுத்து செகண்ட் ஆர்மானிக் ஜென்ரேஷன் எப்படி உருவாக்குறது எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்டல் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்டலி ஹவு டு ஜென்ரேட் த செகண்ட் ஆர்மானிக் ஜென்ரேஷன் செகண்ட் ஆர்மானிக் மீடியம் அடுத்தது அடுத்த கிளாஸில் பார்ப்போம் தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச்